Okay, welcome to circuit number five in my SparkFun uh, Inventors Kit series here. Uh, so the thing about this circuit is we're actually going to be dealing with inputs this time. So before we were always dealing with outputs, just turning a light on and off uh, with output from the board. But this time we're going to actually control it with some inputs using these buttons right here. So this will allow us to push them in right here and turn them on and off. Uh, so we are going to be turning on and off this LED that you need and as usual one of our 330 ohm resistors here. Uh, these two guys are a little bit different. They're still resistors but these ones are actually 10,000 ohm resistors. So uh, they have a different striping pattern to be able to tell them apart. Uh, we've got, what is this, two brown, black, orange, gray, I think. I don't know, I'll put it uh, in some text below to make sure. And of course we are going to need our hookup wires here. So as usual I'm gonna build this and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here's the built circuit all ready to go. I uh, got the LED and the buttons here. Just be careful when pushing in these buttons. Uh, mine didn't like to stay in very well. I had to use uh, some good effort to make sure they popped into place there. So just be careful with that. All the rest of the wiring is pretty easily. Make sure you don't confuse the resistors also. Uh, but if you just look at the coloring pattern, you should be able to discern those pretty easily. So I'm going to plug this in as usual and we got something going already, but uh, I'm actually going to load up the program so that it works properly. All right, so here we are. I've already got circuit five loaded up for us. So there's the usual comments. And here, uh, right in here, we have to declare our variables. So as you can see, we have our LED uh, declared on number 13. And then our two buttons are on uh, number two and three. So we've got those declared ready to go and use in our program. So when we do our setup, you can see our LED is set to output as usual because we want to turn it on. But our button one and button two are accepting input. So we're going to use input this time. Now, when we get into our loop, we need to read the state of the buttons, you know, whether they're up or down or anything like that. So uh, how we do that is uh, we use this digital read command here. So this digital read allows us to tell all the state of the button. Now, uh, when we push the button, we're gonna, you know, make some changes, turn the light on and off. Uh, and how we do that is through the use of logic. So before in our programs, we were just saying, hey, go through this loop, turn this thing on, whatever. But now we want to use some logic to be able to tell the light what to do. So there's a few logic operators here. This one, these two equal signs, this checks whether something is equal to. So is button one state low or is that the same? Then we have these two vertical lines. This means or. So what we are asking here, is this state low or is this state low? Button one and button two. Then we get to these two ampersand signs. This means and. And then this exclamation mark means not. So you can almost read it like a sentence. But if uh, we have if button one state is low or button two state is low, and button one state is not low and button one, button two state, sorry, is also not low, right? Then we can do this. We turn the light on. Otherwise, else we turn it off. Okay, so we're just using basic logic that you would use in everyday life, but formalized with these, uh, these symbols here to run our program. So it makes it easier. You can control all sorts of things. Uh, and let's see how it controls our light. So let's compile. And upload. So here we are with the loaded program. Uh, you can see the lights off right now because both uh, buttons have not been pushed. But when we push one, boop, it turns right on just like that. You see that? And the other one, same. So. What happens if I push both? I'll push one and then the other. Oh, we turn off. That's our logic working right there. So one, on, on. Oh, not on. There we go. On and off, just like a light switch almost, right? Boop. So that's the power of logic when uh, building your circuits. See you next time.